Hey, good optometry morning. So one of the most important decisions that you need to make before cataract surgery is which type of IOL lens implant you're going to get. And probably the most common choice is the monofocal IOL. But if you choose that, your decisions don't end there. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube eye doctor, and the monofocal IOL lens implant for cataract surgery is probably a great choice if you are one of these four people. If you are someone that wants the clearest possible vision after cataract surgery, or if you don't mind wearing glasses or contact lenses some of the time after cataract surgery, or if you have some type of eye disease or eye condition, things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, epiretinal membrane, maybe some type of injury that makes one eye doesn't see quite as well, amblyopia or a lazy eye, then monofocal lens implant is a good option for you. And lastly, if you want the least expensive option possible. So probably the next decision that you need to make after choosing a monofocal IOL is whether you need a toric monofocal IOL. So now a toric IOL lens is designed for people that have a significant amount of astigmatism. Astigmatism is a particular type of myopia or nearsightedness in which the prescription in one meridian, let's say up and down, is different than it is in another meridian. Now, astigmatism is really, really common. And I would say almost everyone has some amount of astigmatism, but if you have a higher amount of astigmatism, then it can be a factor. So your surgeon's gonna do some measurements on your eye. They're gonna calculate the shape of the front of your eye, the shape of the lens, what your prescription is, the length of your eyeball. And that's gonna help them determine whether you're gonna need a toric IOL. So a toric IOL is gonna be a little bit more expensive than a non-toric IOL, but it can make a big difference in reducing the complexity of your prescription after cataract surgery. So if you have a choice and if you can afford it, I would highly recommend getting the toric IOL if that's recommended by your surgeon. So the next decision you need to make is how are you going to see at different distances after cataract surgery? As we get older, we start to develop something called presbyopia, which is the loss of our autofocus ability. And that's why you eventually need reading glasses or progressives or bifocals to help you see at different distances. And when you get the lens implant, the lens implant doesn't have any ability to change its focus, so you are gonna to need to decide which distance you wanna see clearly at. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more about presbyopia, I got a video up here. That, and so because the monofocal IOL doesn't have any ability to change its focus, you need to cho choose whether you wanna see far away or whether you wanna see up close or somewhere in between. So basically, you can choose one distance where you will see pretty well without glasses, and then other distances, you will need glasses. So for example, you could choose to see great for driving and seeing way far away without glasses, but then you're gonna probably need glasses to help you look at your computer and your phone. Or you can choose to say, I wanna see well for reading in my phone and, and reading books, but then you're gonna probably need glasses for looking at your computer or looking far away. Or you could choose something for intermediate distance like computer distance that you don't need glasses, but then you will probably need glasses to help you read and see to drive. So seeing in the distance without glasses is often sometimes a default choice that some of the surgeons recommend, but you need to think very, very carefully about your lifestyle and where you wanna see clearly without glasses because that may not be the right choice for you. Because let's say you don't do a lot of driving or don't drive at all, and but you do a lot of computer work. You might choose to say, hey, I don't wanna wear glasses for my computer distance. I don't mind putting on a pair to help me drive at night because I don't do that very often. And I don't mind putting on a pair of glasses to help me some, read some really small details up close. But if I can work on my computer without my glasses, that might be really awesome. So it's very important for you to think carefully about what things you like to do and what things you like to do without glasses and where you wouldn't mind having a pair of glasses. So the other thing that you really need to consider is if you're nearsighted or myopic and your prescription is minus two or higher, you know you can take your glasses off and you can see great up close without your glasses. And you might think, well, I already can see up close without my glasses, so I'm gonna choose the distance vision uh, to be clear after cataract surgery. But if they make it so your distance vision is clear after cataract surgery, that means you don't, you're no longer nearsighted or no longer myopic, and you will need some glasses for up close. So the only reason before cataract surgery that you can take your glasses off and see up close without your glasses is because you're myopic. And if they change that that you're no longer myopic, then you're gonna need glasses for up close. So it's very, very important for you to discuss with your surgeon, how am I gonna see up close after cataract surgery? How am I gonna see at my computer after cataract surgery? And how am I gonna see in the distance after cataract surgery? Next. All right, now the next decision you need to make is whether you're gonna to subscribe to this video or hit the like button. So now there's another option that you could consider with monofocal IOLs, and that's something called either monovision or mini monovision. 
And so with monovision, basically what you're doing is you're correcting one eye so you can see far away, and you're correcting the other one so you can see up close. And then with both eyes open, your brain can kind of see a little bit of everything, and you can reduce how much you need glasses. So we use monovision and mini monovision very often with contact lenses, and it's also used with refractive laser surgery. So monovision means we correct your dominant eye so you can see great in the distance without glasses. And then we take your non-dominant eye and we make it so you can see clearly for reading. And then with both eyes, you can see a little bit of everything. So with mini monovision, we still correct your dominant eye for the distance, but your non-dominant eye, we correct instead for reading distance, we correct it for intermediate distance, so you can see the computer distance. So when monovision works, that's probably the ideal option because you will often find that you rarely need to get wear glasses, and, but some people find that imbalance between the two eyes can be a little bit off-putting, and if that's the case, then we might go with the mini monovision, which is usually easier to adapt to, but mini monovision often means that you'll probably need some glasses glasses to help you for, for more tasks up close. So one thing I caution you is you want to be very careful about choosing monovision as an option unless you've already tried it either with contact lenses or uh, with laser surgery or if you might happen to have natural monovision with your normal prescription. Because if it doesn't work, it's really hard to go back and change things. So the important thing to remember about monofocal eye wells is that they give you great vision at one distance, but sometimes you still need some glasses. And with that, have a great optometry day.